Now there are lots of options and we have low shrinkage composite material. We got the blue gel, we got dense ply, the uh, triad clear. Uh, we got jig gel, so lots of companies sell different uh, items for it. So you just squeeze a little bit, just like that, squeeze like that, and then you just tap it with light. And then you take the last one, so when you put it on top it's going to lock in. See, it's actually stuck together now, and then we cure it. So now you can continue either with the light through material and kind of immerse. You see those gaps between the easy bar and the titanium cylinder? And squeeze it in, make sure everything immerses and cure it. Make sure everything is cured really well, so nothing is unset. Or you can just use either Duralay or GC pattern, either one works. I prefer this because I know this sets. You can pre-mix it and inject it with syringable thing. I'm going to use the Duralay salt and pepper technique. So make sure it goes inside the grooves and kind of connects the easy bar with the titanium cylinder, see? So this has to be done in the mouth. So what I'm showing you here is exactly what you do in the mouth. This is just a demonstration model to give you a point how to do it right and what to watch out for. But everything's done to make sure it's accurate. If it touches the tissue, for example, in the mouth, it's no big deal. It's fine, you can keep it there. It's no big deal. It's setting, and then I'll keep adding a little bit more so it really strengthens the connection so it doesn't disconnect in the impression. See, it's a significant amount. I'm just adding because I want to make sure everything's connected, nothing moves. Make sure that everything is set inside, all around. Again, you unscrew it from the mouth, right? Just like I do on the model. Make sure the screws are not get lost. And we'll, here's the test. Here's the test that's so crucial. Once you take it out, make sure nothing moves. See, when I push with my fingers, this is actually solid. And that's what you're looking for. When such sets is done right. Now, if something moves, it's a problem. It's not going to be accurate. So what you have to do is you have to add more material with either Duralay or light curing, areas that moves, and then screw back in, screw back in in patient's mouth, and let it set, either light cure or self-cure it, in place after you screw it in, and then do the test again, all right?